Welcome to another On Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about Motion Tween and the Motion Editor, which is a very powerful new uh, item in Flash. Let's look at uh, the Motion Editor right here. It should be available right next to your timeline if you have Essentials as your workplace. You just switch it to Essentials, and there you go. So the first thing we need to do is create a movie clip, which I've already created, which I'll just take out of my library. Go here to my library and drag out my movie clip. There's nothing special about it, just a regular movie clip. And what you want to do to create that tween is you want to right click and create motion tween. Um, the motion tween is created. There's nothing on this tween, uh, meaning there are no keyframes to it, and I'll explain keyframes in just a second. Right now, it just created uh, 24 frames. By default, Flash uh, makes a motion tween to one second. So there we have it, one second. If you had it 30 frames, it would have went out to 30. But I have it at 24 frames per second as my animation. So I'm going to drag the scrubber to the first frame here. And since this movie clip up top is uh, now has motion tween, the motion editor will look alive and well and let's look let's look at the motion editor and some of the properties in it if you're used to flash cs3 and lower there was just there was really no way to uh specifically order things to do what you want in flash meaning there was no way to um control um individual items like the x and y they were just together so now you're able to edit the X, the Y, the Z rotation, there's 3D transformation, all that jazz. And there's still th the usual uh, suspects like color effects and filters like blur, and it's all available in the motion editor. So what I want to do in this tutorial is just show you some simple animations, show you how to create a custom preset and save it onto your hard drive. So let's do that. So I'm just going to move my movie clip to the beginning. Now, as I'm moving this movie clip up top, you see these numbers of the X and Y change. That's because the first uh, the first frame has a keyframe in it. What does that mean? Uh, a keyframe is a saved value at a saved time in which flash does that animation for instance if I go to frame 5 and I move my movie clip around it's going to save that keyframe or that animation I've created if I go to frame 10 and move it it's going to save that and so forth and so forth so now if I scrub to the beginning and play it you see it saved the paths that I've created now this is I'm just using X and Y values this also you can do Z rotation now I've used I have physically moved it but you can use the numbers to set keyframes inside a flash just like how I'm scrubbing back and forth and you see the animation change at the top of your screen you can also do this with other properties like the Z so I have it rotating here so it starts off zero and changes individual properties can be changed by moving left and right the uh, values so there you go um, you might want to actually remove some of these uh, keyframes that you've presented or put on your motion editor and the way you do that is you scrub your mouse or you scrub your time indicator to a uh, keyframe and by pressing the add remove keyframe it will remove that it will remove that keyframe from your tween and there are many <laughs> anything you can think of you can tween inside of your motion editor but I'm not done with it yet there's still another aspect to it and right now you in all of these um, motion edits that we've created we don't have any eases on them if you remember from Flash CS3 and below, you were not able, you know, you only had ease in, ease out, and you could use some complex easing. But 
Flash comes with a right here we have Eases. And if I open your the Eases, <laughs> there's just a simple slow ease, which we don't want. We want to do something more spectacular. So what we're gonna do is press this little plus sign indicator and um some of the tweens are off the screen, but you can see that there's so many. Um, right now, I'm going to use the spring. Let's use spring tween. Now, this spring, it you can see the pattern. It kind of, you know, it's a wave. And you're able to increase or decrease the intensity of that wave. So what we're going to do with this spring, we have this is named spring 2. We can add the spring 2 to specific... Um, parts of your basic motion and anything else that can be uh, edited inside of the motion editor. So right here, let's add it to the X. We'll add a spring to the X. So if I move my mouse, you can see that there's a spring motion going on here. It's, it's really quick because of uh, the extent of my animation. So let me go to the timeline and show you a few things. So before before I move to the timeline, I just want to say really quickly that you are able to edit any part of your movie clip or anything tweenable. You can I don't have any color effect. Well, let me just add a color effect. Okay, like like the tint. I can add this tint and there's properties for the twint tint. You can add easing to the tint. Um and you can add keyframes. Uh Okay, last but not least, let me say, um, last but not least, I showed you how to uh, remove keyframes, but to add keyframes is simple. Um, to add a keyframe, you simply just press this diamond. If there's no keyframe there, then I'll add a keyframe. So on the X, see that keyframe was just added. Also, you can do some editing by clicking on your specific item, like X, and when you click on it, it expands. And with it expanded, you can move it around like any graph, and you really get some <laughs> some really uh, great control with it. So that's another way to do that. So there's so it's endless possibilities to editing your um, to editing your movie clip. So I showed you how to add, remove keyframes, how to do some um, real intense editing. Let's go to the timeline. And right now I have all my keyframes, and they're they're pretty quick. They're too fast if you ask anybody. And we can extend them by going to the end of your animation and pulling it out and you'll get a better a better it'll slow down your animation somewhat still too fast but all right last but not least say we want to save our hard work what we can do is go into window and we can open up motion presets motion presets is what it is motion presets what you can do is actually take some of these presets available that a fat Flash has created and apply them to your movie clips. You just click on one and the movie clip you want to apply them to and you press apply. Now the now let's go into custom and what we can do now is click on this save selection as preset. First we have to then I'll come up with a name and you give it a name and from now on you can apply this animation to any movie clip that you so desire so that was a short brief um, tutorial getting into the motion editor um, there's also 3D, Well, I'll do another tutorial explaining how you can do some really great things with the motion editor in 3D. So this tutorial has helped you out, I hope. And thanks for watching on Enter Flash Tutorial. If you like my video, subscribe, rate, comment, and go to my website on enterflash.blogspot.com. Click on an attitude and put a few pennies in my pocket. Thank you very much.